Ja, hello, this is Matthias from mamoworld.com and welcome to this little After Effects tutorial about a little new tool in the Automation Blocks community library, which is create keyframes at markers with value from marker comment, which I wrote because Franz Tomandel, I hope I pronounced the name correctly, requested uh, such a feature um, in our forums. So here's how it works. Um, you can create all kinds of keyframes based on markers and the value for the keyframe is taken from the comment of those. So for if you want to set slider values, you should have numbers in here. And if you want to set multidimensional values, you can also put um, comma so in square brackets, multiple values in your comments or to set text, you can just set text on the markers. Let me show you this real quick. I can just select the source text, for example, on which I want to create keyframes. And I run the create mark a uh, keyframes at markers tool here. And it asks me from which layer should the markers be taken. I want to read the markers from the text layer itself in this case. So these markers. Okay. And you can see the keyframes have been created. Um, first text, second text, uh, and one more. So the text have been copied into, into those keyframes here. Um, if you use it on source text, be aware of one little limitation. Make sure that you manually rename your layer before you run the tool, because otherwise, when the first keyframe is inserted, the name of the text layer will change and then the tool will not be able to find the layer anymore. Uh, but this is just a little limitation we have here. So then let's say you want to create keyframes on this point control. So we just select the point control, run it, and now we choose a layer on which we have the markers. In this case, we don't want to take them from the layer itself, but from this medium gray red solid here. So layer number three, I click OK. And you can see at exactly those markers, it has created keyframes. And here I've got this value with two components. Yeah, if you double click on the marker, you can see 22,12 in square brackets. And exactly this is the value of this keyframe. Here I just entered a single number, 15. And therefore it just has set the 15 for the first component and the second it defaults to zero. So if you just enter one value, the second one will be complemented with zero. So you can use the tool to really set any keyframe values, texts, numbers, multidimensional values. It should work with all kinds of properties. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to see you in the next one.